at this cute little appendix shaped cloud. Well, it looked a little bit more like appendix about 10 minutes ago on my walk, but by the time I got home and got my phone, it just kind of looks like a blob. But let's talk about the appendix, what it does and how it can cause really big problems. So its government name is vermiform appendix. Vermiform coming from the Latin roots, vermis, which means worm and form, which means shaped. So it's worm shaped and it's at your cecum, which is the connection of your small intestine to your large intestine. And it's theorized that the original physiologic function of your appendix was to break down high fiber things that our ancestors used to eat, like tree bark and seeds. Thank goodness we're past a lot of that. But it's been thought for a long time, the appendix has gotten no cred. People think like, ah, we don't use it for anything anymore. But there's actually research that shows that it helps to regulate our micro gut biome, those good bacteria that we need to help break down our food appropriately. But we know that the appendix can cause big problems. This is one of the most common complaints we see in the emergency department, particularly with children. We get parents to bring their kids in so they've had a tummy ache for a couple days. It's got to be appendicitis. And what is it almost 99% of the time? It's poop. They just need to fart, right? But sometimes it is appendicitis. We actually see it in adults and pediatric patients. We just see parents worrying about it more in their kiddos. So these patients tend to come to the emergency department with persistent abdominal pain for a couple of days. They might have a low to medium grade fever. It's not going to be like 105. Usually it's these patients have 100, 101. Uh, and they oftentimes will say that their belly just really hurts, especially down in that right lower quadrant. There's a couple of things that I usually do to try to rule out or in how likely it is that this patient has appendicitis. And our first one, of course, is looking for that rebound tenderness, right? It doesn't hurt too bad when you push on that right lower quadrant, but when you let go, ugh, the patient oftentimes will grab it and say, oh, that hurts so bad. The other one is called the jump test. Let's say I'm walking a kid back from triage who's there for belly pain, and I just say, can you do a quick jump? And they're like, yeah, you weirdo. And if they jump in, they're just fine. They're, it's a negative jump test, and it's very unlikely that that kiddo has appendicitis. But if they jump, and when they land, they go, oh, that's a positive jump test. If the patient is laying down, maybe they're in so much pain that they can't stand up and jump, or they came in by ambulance and you're not walking them back from triage, you can actually simulate that by tapping on the bottom of their shoe. I'm muddy now. And you'll get the same reaction. When you tap the bottom of that right heel, they might grab that right lower quadrant. And with these patients, if it hasn't ruptured yet, sometimes we can just admit them and give them IV antibiotics and they do great. But if it has ruptured, it can cause peritonitis, which is massive infection throughout the big compartment of the entire belly. And we have to Please excuse that technical difficulty. We're back. And we have to go in and do a wash out and uh, take out that appendix. So there you have it, the vermiform appendix.